Someone in the news recently said that the COVID vaccines contain luciferase, which is a bioluminescent marker that, according to this person, um, is in the COVID vaccines and it allows you to be tracked. Okay, so this is a statement that was made on Twitter. Um, other people have made it as well. This is something we need to unpack here. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudle. I'm a practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. I also debunk myths from time to time. Let's start with the basics, okay? Luciferase, what is it? Well, it's an enzyme, but let's go back one step before that. Luciferin is an organic compound. Sounds like luciferase, doesn't it? So let me explain how they're connected. Luciferin is an organic compound and it produces light through oxidation. Now, that happens when luciferase reacts with luciferin, and that's what produces the light. So luciferase is the enzyme, the ACE tells you, the ASE tells you it's the enzyme, the luciferin is the organic compound. So you're probably saying, well, what does this have to do with COVID vaccines? Is it in the COVID vaccine? Where, what's the connection? Why would somebody say that luciferase um, allows you to be tracked? And first of all, we should say that uh, luciferase is an enzyme that when it reacts with luciferin um, allows light to be produced. That is actually a fact, okay? Um, now, luciferase, the enzyme, um, to take that one step further in terms of how we see this in nature and how we see this in the world, luciferase, the enzyme, um, is a is sort of an, an enzyme that causes bioluminescence in organisms, including fireflies. So in some of the things out in our world, uh, the bugs and the creatures and the critters that sort of light up, this is one of the reactions that happens to allow that to, to occur, okay? So that is a fact. Um, the other thing we should keep in mind is that luciferase, um, yes, it does when it reacts, it, it causes light to be produced, um, but it actually has been useful in medicine as well. So the concept of luciferase being involved with medicine and research or whatever, that's not an unusual concept. And by the way, let me also just take a, a digress just for a moment because luciferase, the word L-U-C-E-R-I-F-A-S-E, -E, people have often seen the, the front of it, uh, Lucif Lucifer, and they often sort of associate that um, with the devil. Um, we know that uh, the devil in Christianity was often referred to as Lucifer. So there are some people, and you might see this in readings and writings and whatever, that associate Luciferase with the devil. Well, there's nothing, I mean, they're, they're not related, okay? They're not really, just like there are many words and, you know, that come from whether it's Latin or other things. Uh, that may sound similar or be similar, but mean totally different things, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? So let's go back to luciferase as an enzyme, um, as a compound that we see in, in critters that, bio, uh, that sort of light up because it, it does create sort of a, a bioluminescence or it gives off light to be produced. Um, and that we have also used luciferase in medicine, in research, etc. So this is where the COVID vaccine comes in, and this is where I need to be very clear about this, because let me remind you that the claim made by these media folks and others too, by the way, is that luciferase um, uh, is a bioluminescent marker, which by the, it's not a marker, it's an enzyme, um, but that is in the COVID vaccine that allows you to be tracked. And that's what I'm debunking, okay? That is not true. Number one, luciferase was used in some testing for the COVID vaccine. Yes, it was. Okay. According to multiple sources, it was used in testing for the COVID vaccine uh, in the trials. Okay. But luciferase is not present in the final vaccine. All right. So I'm not exactly sure how people move from being in the trials to actually being in the vaccine and what it's meant to do. And does it track you? No. I mean, the answer is no. And once again, was luciferase used in trials? Sure. Is it used in the final vaccine? No. Now, some of you might then say, well, what's in the vaccine? And I've, I've done plenty of segments on this. I've talked about this many of times. I've got an article about what's in the vaccine. In fact, the good thing about what's in the vaccine is that it's easily findable. And by the way, um, uh, Johnson Johnson, AstraZeneca, uh, Moderna, they don't have luciferase in it. And you say, how do I know? Well, the CDC, um, maybe the FDA too, but the CDC lists actually the ingredients of the COVID vaccine on their, on their website. You can Google CDC COVID vaccine ingredients so that you can see for yourself, which I think is very important. I'll just give you um, a taste of what is in the mRNA vaccines, that's Pfizer and Moderna as an example. 
Um, literally, this is the length of the list. You see, the list is not that long. There's not 50 things in it. People say, we don't even know what's in it. Yes, we do. It's this stuff, okay? Uh, you might also see my other notes up here. Let me just make a note in case you're reading those. My point here is that some people call this or say that it's the mark of the beast or um, that it is some quantum dot tattoo. Um, those things are not those things were not true. That's what my upper notes say. But let's go to uh, what actually is in the mRNA vaccine. This is according to the CDC. Number one, mRNA. Number two, lipids. Three, cholesterol. Uh, number four, one, two, disteroil. I got it. It's hard to pronounce. One, two, disteroil, SN, glycero, three, phosphocholine. Hope I said it right. The next one is tromethamine. The next ingredient after that is tromethamine hydrochloride, and then three more ingredients, acetic acid, sodium acetate, and sucrose. You guys can Google this. Google it, okay, so that you can see for yourself that there is no luciferase or luciferin uh, in the COVID vaccines, and understand that we have used luci luciferase, excuse me, um, in the trials, but it's not in the final product of the vaccine. And yes, luciferase is an enzyme that uh, reacts with luciferin to, to produce light, but that's not that's not, it's not, it's not in the, the COVID vaccine, number one. And number two, it's not tracking you. And that's not what it's doing. It's, that's not what it's doing in the world, in the fireflies that have luciferase you know, compounds that are reacting to produce their bioluminescence. And that's not happening um, in the COVID vaccine. There is no luciferase. Even if there were, it wouldn't be tracking you. Does that make sense? Those two things are not happening separately or together, by the way. I hope this is helpful. There's still a lot of myths running around there about the COVID vaccine. I hope this is clear. Uh, let me know what you've heard. I always like to, to take what you guys have heard and make sure we know what's true, what's false. The most important thing is to get the COVID vaccine. It is safe. It is effective. It is our best bet against uh, this pandemic. I've gotten it. I got the Moderna vaccine. I'll be getting my booster next week. I am a healthcare provider. Uh, guys, get your vaccines. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, shut down the rumors and shut down the false information whenever you can. Guys, that, that couldn't be more important. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I have, um, I do videos on all sorts of things, but ever since the pandemic, I've devoted a lot of my time to debunking myths regarding the COVID vaccine, and there are many. Uh, the COVID vaccine does not cause infertility. Um, uh, we can't get rid of COVID with bleach or garlic, or uh, even though vitamin C and vitamin D are good for overall nutrition, they don't single-handedly uh, uh, get rid of COVID. Um, it is possible to get COVID more than once. It is important to get the COVID vaccine, even if you've gotten COVID. Uh, we, a recent studies just come out showing that COVID vaccine immunity is stronger than natural immunity, though we do have natural immunity, but you need the boost uh, from the COVID vaccine. I can go on and on and on. I have videos about all of this on my page, on my channel. Please subscribe if you have not. Click the little bell for updates. I'd love to have you. love to see you more. Please let me know what questions you have, what things you've heard out in the streets so I can address them. Uh, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook as well, Dr. Jen Cottle. Please follow me there. Um, guys, I'll see you soon.